Hello and welcome to Note Flight. We are going to sign in and get started writing out our rhythm composition. First thing I need to do is log in. You can connect with Facebook or Google or create your own separate login. And when you're in, you get this beautiful dashboard right here. You can see scores that you've created. You can also add a new score here, which is what I would like to do. Click Add New Score. We want a blank score sheet, and it will automatically generate a piano staff, which is not what we want. We are just doing rhythm. So I'm going to go up to the guitar. I'll click on that, and it shows me the instruments here. I would like to add an instrument, and we're looking for unpitched percussion just rhythm. Rhythm that any instrument could play. We'll press OK and now it added that to the piano which is not exactly what we want. So over here I will put the piano in the trash can and we're left with just rhythm. Now one thing you might want to note in Note Flight is that there is a menu over here. I like to be in control of the score and for this assignment just the note durations and also text so that we can add in our section names. So I'll give this a title, Rhythm Composition, and we'll get started. First thing I want to do is select the measure that I'm writing for. You can see it is in 4, 4 meter. And then there's a little note head hovering here. All I have to do is click, and it will generate a note. It defaults to a quarter note, so if I want to change it to an eighth note, I can do so right there. Then I need to move my, press the arrow button to the right, and it will go on the next note. It shows a rest. Don't be fooled by that. If you put your note head over it, you click and it becomes another note. Move the arrow over and you can continue to enter in your notation. I have begun the first two measures. This is my A section. So as you can see, I've notated it with an A so that it's clear to read. Now what I'm going to do is move my cursor over here and you can see it's, it's um, flashing right there. That means I am in the third measure and anything I add is going to be on that first beat. You can see there's a little note here. So If I just click right there, it made a quarter note. If I want to change that, I can go up here, turn it to an eighth note, eighth note, and as you see that cursor keeps moving over. That's important. You want to pay attention to where that is. Um, right now, this is orange, so if I click something up here, that orange note is going to change. If I just click arrow to the next beat, um, it brings up all the rests, which may frustrate you at first, but it's fine if you hover over. You can see there is a note there. It's ready to create a note for you, and it will. And I have another rest. Now this is actually my B section. So what I'm going to do at the beginning of measure 3, I'm going to highlight that first note and click text, and it will automatically assign it to be B because it's a new section. Do that, and here's where I need to write this. It's whoops. It's going to give me. Um, it's going to automatically generate that as C, which I do need to change. So I can just click in there, turn it back into an A. So now I now have A B A. All I have left is my C. So we're going to start with a rest and then arrow over, quarter, arrow over, we'll give another rest, arrow over, whatever you composed is what you want to put in here for C, and I'm going to go back before I even forget and label this, and it automatically generated C because it would be the third section that I've created. 
and then I'll finish it off here. So it takes a little while to get the hang of this, but if you just remember that you arrow over and you need uh, duration and text up here, you should be just fine entering in your composition. Rest and one quarter note will do it. There's my composition. It did bring up this extra measure. Oops, it automatically generates that and it's not needed. So what I need to do is click up here and just click the minus and it's gone. I now have a score. I can type my name in here um, and I can press play to hear it. It'll play it for me. Make sure you save and print and be ready to uh, turn this in as your assignment. Bye.